I, I remember I watched it. I'm, I'm also in it, so I'm a little biased, but mm. I watched it and I need to go to the bathroom so bad. We all and did when like, we were at the screening. <laughs> I and I held it because I was like, I can't stop watching this movie. It's addictive. Hey guys, it's Sinead hanging out here at Clever with the stars of Baby Driver. I got Aza, Ansel, and Lily. Thanks so much for coming out, you guys. I just saw the movie on Friday. I had so much fun. So much fun. So one of the coolest things about um, the movie is get started right away with setting it up that music kind of drives the entire plot. And I really loved how everything was timed so perfectly when you're just right in the beginning, when you're getting ready, when you're grabbing coffee. The first time you see her, it's everything is set to this like awesome beat. But I gotta ask, how difficult is it to film that knowing that you have to stay in time with the song? It's better. It's, it's awesome. So we always had the music in our ears. Mm -hmm. And we, little invisible earbuds. Yeah, yeah. I will, my, my well, hair has the earbuds in, they had invisible ones. And we, it, it, I feel like it made the scenes easier. We had, we had something to do, we had a rhythm of the scene. We knew when sort of rhythmically to say your line. Sometimes mm -hmm. acting, you know, you want a nice rhythm in a scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. People right. talk, you just a boo boo, boo boo, boo boo, you know, when people are talking. And the music helps that happen. Um, I think that the music drives this movie and it makes it there's never a dull moment. I'm, I remember I watched it, I'm, I'm also in it, so I'm a little biased, but mm. I watched it and I need to go to the bathroom so bad. We all and did when like, we were at the screening. <laughs> and I held it because I was like, I can't stop watching this movie, it's addictive. Right, so what kind of prep goes into filming like a heist movie, a music aside, but all this action, how much of the driving did you guys actually get to do? I mean, like, sure, you're driving, but you guys are in the car a lot too. So yeah. how much of that is real and what, how much I stunts you? I think it was you? different for each character. I think that it was really fun for all of us because we got to do different things. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we all had like the basic same uh, training and then from there on everyone branched out to what they were more focused on. Like, he has a lot of driving scenes. So he was doing it and he did it for a long time before us. I was like doing a lot of gun shooting, training, whatever, and it, it's it, each character is very different. So that's the fun part as well. It's kind of like school. Everyone goes to their little part and then they put it all together and it was really exciting. I mean, when it came to the music part, also like for us, I feel it was harder because we had a lot of gun shoots. We couldn't hear direction, so oh, yeah. we didn't have the music, which by the way, it, a movie like this would never work without a great team. Mm -hmm. We had our amazing choreographer going one, two, then Jamie, three, four, five, six, and you had to remember. So you're like, shoot, that two was me, three, uh. so, you, so you couldn't do that. And it was kind of like, it was, that's the fun part. It was a different experience for each and one of us. Yeah. Is like the first time you guys have shot a movie like this ever? Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think it's the first time that a movie like this has been really done to this extent. What Ace is talking about is literally the gunshots in the movie are all timed with the music that's yeah. happening. Yeah. And it doesn't make it like, okay, this is this gets old, this is whack. It just it, it elevates it in the best way. And the action is just like whether you're if you're really into action movies, it, it, this is gonna blow it out of the water. Because there's no yeah. CGI as well. Yeah, there's, right. yeah we, no CGI. That's Everything awesome. was practical. Mm -hmm. that's, so, that's so cool. Did you guys do any research with like famous bank robbers or like famous crimes? There's a guy named Joe Lawyer who we talked to and he was, he's an ex-con mm -hmm. and yeah, he went to prison for a while for bank robbing and he robbed like, yeah, like 17 banks. Oh and he would gosh. teach us. He was pretty cool. Little details about <laughs> doing a bank robbery. It, no, it's, not it's that robbing banks is cool. <laughs> Sorry. But, yeah, but, no, but, no, but, no, but the thing not. is that robbing banks is cool, <laughs> is cool. because why do they, why do they make movies about it? Yeah. It's sexy crime. Yeah. I mean, people, apparently when he went to prison, he said, I said, oh, how was it going in prison? Was it awful? Whatever. He said, honestly, it wasn't so bad because everyone's like, that's Yo, cool. You, you, you robbed the bank and yeah. you actually <laughs> pulled it off 17 times? Tell me about it. I it want doesn't to hear. seem like this something that people man. can pull off, right? No, no. it seems like a, like a crazy hard crime. Yeah. But that's why this movie is so cool, is because there was such like strategy, and you almost got excited knowing when he got that next call, because you knew you were gonna get like the next plan yeah. as it was. And with the next like gang of amazingly cool mm -hmm. like heist members like Jamie Foxx and Kevin Spacey, and it was just like a room of like the most dope. Cool actors, individuals, yeah. actors totally. in this crazy gang. Well, let's uh, switch gears a little bit. So, summer's coming up, right? Road trips galore. Um, for your guys' summer playlist, in the vein of the movie, what's on it? What's your go-to number one song that has to be on your summer playlist? I'm mm. obsessed with Drake's new album, so probably Passion Fruit. Okay, love it. Also, Bam, Bam from Kendrick Lamar. Yes. 
really good one. What, what is that? Is that your guess? What song is that? It sounds like a kazoo. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. I love. I really do like Drake's album. It's a super chill vibe. Yeah. Frank, are you I, yes. Biking by Frank Ocean right now is on the top of my list. Mm -hmm. I think it's so dope. Khaled. Oh, Khaled is great. Location. Awesome. That location song. That's so nice. Yeah, I love it. Nia. I like Nia a lot. Um, uh, I'll J. I, always, I keep on repeating the same ones, but they're like. Well, that's what you like. So yeah, that's, that's what like I like. Zen. I like that too. Yeah, this dude Zen. right here. Thank you. Some count on me. Count on out. me. <laughs> count on me. It's called You Can Count On, not Count On. Oh, me. sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to help. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Aza Gonzalez from Late Night Song, everybody. You, you can count on me. And it's featuring Logic the Rapper. Uh, and I have a new song coming out on June 23rd called All I Think About Is You. There you so go. Go check it out. That's what I'm going to listen. You can count on me, all I think about is you. It's very romantic song titles. Yeah, these ones are, and then after that, I'm getting, it's getting a little more dramatic. But I, yeah, sometimes I write romantic, you know, I write whatever's happening in my life. Yeah. I have a romantic life, so I, oh. I'm inspired all the time. And there's a lot band. of romance in our film, too. There yeah. is. Uh, yes. I mean, like, yeah, in. you guys are all different characters here in different storylines, but you have a love story, and the two of you have a love story as well. So there is, a, there is like a an underlying but still very strong presence of yeah. romance. Yeah, I mean, I think film. Edgar, at the end of the day, he's such a hopeless romantic, yeah. and that's what the role, those both stories are, like that typical, like, <sighs> that sort of like, I'll die and go for you and I'll kill for you, and we don't want that verbatim in our lives, but we do want that passion in our lives, and sort of, it mimics in the darker and lighter way with Buddy and Darling and Baby and Deborah. And that Buddy's John things. Hamm, and these guys have this like Bonnie and Clyde yeah. crazy. Sort of cool crazy. She, she just got to make out with John Hamm all the time. <laughs> it was a horrible so. experience. <laughs> and it's pretty <laughs> cool. She fires a dub, double, double machine guns. It's very cool. Yeah, it was yes. fun. It was a fun time. And I think we had so much fun all together. Yeah. It was like all a musical experience, especially because Jamie was on set all the time. If you were to hop in the car, you don't have to be Robin Banks, but just to hop in the car. Who is your ideal celeb shotgun passenger rider? Hmm. Oh. That's a good one. What other celebrity has to be riding shotgun in your car? Oh my goodness. Honestly, um, I would say Jamie right now because yeah. he's such a blast to hang out with. Yeah. And if you had him in your front seat, you would. If you had a, like a seven-hour drive. He would just be like, all the way up, like the whole time. I also think uh, after seeing Carpool, I definitely, uh, Carpool Karaoke, I'd definitely choose Corden for Yeah, that's good for too. For he'd be like, da -da 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 -da, dancing the whole time. I'd be laughing at least. For sure. Yeah. Definitely. How about you? I don't know. I can't. I take all these guys. The, the <laughs> gang of the baby driver gang just all like squeezed in. All in one seat. It would be pretty. All like this. That's a lot. Uh -huh. That sounds awful. It <laughs> <That> sounds awful. <laughs> so when you guys are on set and you guys are in these cars, how many different cars go like are used in the process of making a movie like this? Because you're crashing a lot of cars. 150. How many? Yeah, 150. Oh, that's wow, crazy. I didn't know that. That's crazy. And I got to keep one of the Subarus. You the did. Magic. I have it. Yeah. I drive it. It's like the best set gift like ever, ever in history. So That's dope. awesome. I love it. That's so cool. Tell the audience maybe like one thing that happens in the movie and why you think they're gonna just dig this as much as I did for sure. It is it, for me. It is the this mad merge of music and action and car chase. I've never seen anything like it. It's so cool and it adds to the you know tension and drama and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One thing from Baby Driver. I speak with my deaf foster father yes. in this film in That's sign so language. Cute. And it's not marketed in any of the trailers It is not or actually, I was very surprised by that. And it is like one, it, it is another piece of the movie that like brings heart. it a lot of heart and soul. Yeah, mm. love it. And yeah, actually, amazing. the actor C.J. Jones is the first deaf African-American actor ever in a feature film. Oh, that's awesome. That's so pretty cool. And he's, he's very proud. Sweetest. He's awesome, yeah. he's a deaf comedian. He's hilarious. I was gonna say, a lot of those scenes were hilarious. Yeah. He's, like the he's, funniest, there's no dialogue, but there's some of the funniest scenes in the whole movie. It's mm. really so cool. cool. I think, uh, to sum it up, it's just, if you're into original, fun, authentic movies, go watch this movie. Very few movies like this get made. We live in a world where it's all franchises, mm -hmm. and this is a, I, I call it a unicorn, where you get a great balance of comedy with action but romance and it's fun and that's what movies have to be just have fun and i think this will make people fall in love again with movies for mm. sure awesome all right you guys baby driver baby driver june 28th
Thank you guys so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Click left for more movies we can't wait for in 2017 and click right to find out seven things you didn't know about Ansel Elgort.